Are these the perfect Qi chargers? Let's give them a closer look. Dave Taylor here, and this time I'm looking at Qi chargers. Specifically, I'm looking at these. These are the higher powered quick charge 3.0 Qi chargers from Anchor. The flat one, this little Frisbee, this is the PowerWave 7.5 pad. And then the one with the 60 degree angle stand is, you guessed it, the PowerWave 7.5 stand. And they are incredibly well designed Qi charging units. Now, I have an iPhone 10 and I was really excited about wireless charging. But by default, a wireless charging system feeds 5 watts to the device. And that's not much. It charged really slow. Maybe you'd get a 20% charge in an hour, but it was not something that was going to have it where you put it on and boom, you're fully charged. Not how they work. But with Quick Charge 3.0, turns out that it actually goes way faster. In fact, it gets 50% more wattage. So these units give five watts of Qi charging to an unrecognized device but you put on an iPhone 8 or 8 Plus or 10 or whatever comes down the road in the future, and they'll get 7.5 watts. Now it's important, you need to have iOS 11.2 or newer. So if you're running still an older version, you'll have to upgrade to be able to get that benefit. But that 7.5 watts gives you a 40% charge in an hour. That's pretty nice. That means that you can put this on your charging station and go grab lunch, come back, and honestly, your phone's almost fully charged again. So that's pretty cool, assuming you have a fairly long lunch. <laughs> now, if you put a Samsung device on this, Samsung works even better with quick charge and actually gets 10 watts. So then the Samsung device, like a Galaxy S9, will charge even faster with one of these. But I'm excited mostly because it's for the first device I'm aware of that gives me the faster charge with my iPhone 10. Now, they've done a really nice job with engineering too. Let's just look at the pad. As you can see, it's not the thinnest pad in the world because it has a built-in fan to keep both the charging unit and the phone cool while it's charging. It also has an anti-slip surface, which is really nice because one of the problems a lot of these flat chargers have is you put your phone on there, you have to find the sweet spot, and then you get a call or something vibrates your phone and it moves a little bit, and now it's not charging. So if you read reviews of Qi chargers, you'll see a lot of people complain about the fact that the charger doesn't keep it in place. Now, this is where the stand is obviously really nice. So if I put this on the stand, now it's not only charging as you can see, but at that 60 degree angle, it's the perfect angle so that if it's facing me, it unlocks with face recognition. So my iPhone 10 is now unlocked without me having to do anything. Further, they did another thing really nice, is that they actually have two charging sensors so it will also charge sideways. So if I wanna watch Netflix while I'm pretending to work, <laughs> or stream live soccer, which is typically what I would do, then I can do that and charge on the stand. And the stand itself, this is again, the Anchor PowerWave 7.5 stand. This is also pretty big. So you can see the base unit is pretty large because it has a fan. So there's vents on the back to get the fan to keep the whole unit cool so that your phone doesn't overheat and the charger doesn't overheat heat. I'm going to go ahead and let that keep charging. Now, the biggest downside with this unit is that it has to use the charger that came with it. This is a quick charge 3.0, which only has one USB plug. Kind of wish they would have put two. And it has this nice heavy duty micro USB cable that is too darn short. So let's just look at this. If I put it like that, you can see that's not very long. And to put this in context, if I simply hold this end and drop it down, it is not long enough to touch the floor, which means if I have a power outlet on the floor, I can't plug it in, use this, and then have enough spare on the cable to have the pad or stand where I want it to be. That is a little bit of an annoyance, to put it mildly. And that's the biggest complaint people have with this charger. The fact that it's a fast charge for an iPhone, fantastic. The fact that it's an even faster charge for a Samsung is great. In fact, let me tell you numbers. So by default, G charging is at five watts. That's pretty slow. Maybe you get 10% an hour on charge on an iPhone. That doesn't get you very far. But 
with the new Quick Charge 3.0 and at least iOS 11.2, you get 7.5 watts, hence the 7.5 name, and that 7.5 watts is a 50% faster charge. That means I get a 40% charge in an hour and that's really sweet. And then 10 watts finally is the charge you get for a Samsung device, so Galaxy S9 or something's gonna charge really fast, and that's a great thing. So, I like everything about it. I'll even forgive them for having a single plug USB for the Quick Charge 3.0, but Anchor, you guys need longer cables. This cable just is too darn short, and yes, I can use a different cable, but since this is a heavy duty cable, I fear that if I use a longer cable that's not the same quality, then this will auto sense it and actually drop my wattage down. And there's no easy way to test. So it would just be great to have maybe a, I don't know, three foot, six foot, seven foot cable, something longer as part of the packaging. But be that as it may, really nice design. Now the Anchor, Se uh, PowerWave 7.5 pad, this one has a small sensor light that lets you know when you have your phone in the right place. And this does exactly the same thing at the base of the stand. All that's left to talk about is price, but before we get there, go ahead and do me a favor and click on that subscribe link, please. And if this is a useful video, give me a thumbs up. I sure appreciate that. Cool. Okay, now. PowerWave 7.5 pad from Anchor Qi charging device will cost you $45.99 at anchor.com. So it's a little more expensive than most Qi chargers, but seriously, it's a fast charger. That's totally worth it. So $45.99 at anchor.com and then the PowerWave 7.5 stand will run you $49.99 at anchor.com. And I am absolutely a fan. I really like Qi charging anyway, and I particularly like that it works 50% faster. That is an absolute win for my iPhone 10. I'm gonna go back to charging, and I will catch you in my next video.